We're continuing our tour of the Coleman Bungalow. We're going to head upstairs. And along the way, you can see the stairs now are all finished. And here's the handrail with the gooseneck at the top that we uh, acquired from an architectural salvage store that fit in nicely with our plan. So we made it here to the landing and we're headed up to the second floor. Here's the rest of the handrail that we salvaged. We used it here on the second floor. So at the top of the stairs we have this nice window that looks out to the north on the uh, lot there at the north and you can just see our garage. So up here on the second floor we rebuilt this uh, half wall, made it a little wider and there are two bedrooms and a bath up here. Let's start in this bedroom. In this bedroom we have a nice uh, old antique arts and crafts bed that I salvaged from a, a barn on the farm where I grew up at Warrensburg, Missouri. And we have the bifold doors here in the closet that we've painted uh, red to match some of the other accents in the house. And this big window looks out to the south at our neighbor's house across the street. Then here in this room we also did a special touch with the ceiling fan, which we uh, painted red to match the doors. And we have some art on the wall over here that uh, is little book paintings that is a favorite of Mary's. Everything in there is about books. There's a book balanced on the Pyramid of Egypt. So then we'll take our way back out to the hall and then into the bathroom. So there's the new sink that we installed, replacing the old vanity that was there before. New sink, new faucet. Our medicine cabinet from, I believe, a 1950s renovation with the uh, fluorescent tubes. And we have the red carpet uh, circles here on the floor. Nautical themed curtain. There's this archway above the shower and tub with tile. And we have a little medicine cabinet here with red accents. So that's the bathroom. And then back down the hallway, you can see in the hallway here the ceiling in this hallway is uh, wood squares and this is something that was added to the house in the 1950s as well. And then in the second bedroom upstairs we have a temporary situation with a uh, queen-sized air mattress. This room we haven't gone through yet and repainted it or uh, updated anything. We've refinished the floors. We have some a bookcase in here stack bookcase. You can see that the upstairs still has the original wide trim. It's all been painted. But that's original and the original doors and hardware we think. So back in this room if you look out to the south there's a view of College Street and our neighbor's house and then to the east uh, some of the trees redbud tree, Osage orange tree, and Park Street there to the east. And then here's a door to a big walk-in closet. So I think that pretty well finishes up our tour of the second floor. I hope you enjoyed it.